Hello everybody and welcome back to The Quilted Cow. We are doing another sewing tutorial today and I am your host Stacy. I'm an exclusive designer with The Quilted Cow and today we are going to be working on this adorable little snowman placemat. Look at how cute that is. Now this is the actual subscription box fabric, but before we get into all of the details, I would like to give a shout out and thank you to our sponsors, Husqvarna Viking Sewing Machines, Creative Grids Rulers, Rotary Cutters and Mats, and Wilmington Prints. Let's begin. everybody let's get started on our project so let's go over a few things first look at how adorable this guy is look at how cute he is with his little like adorable little snowman face and who does not love a good ribbon around an image i do i absolutely adore it so we are going to be working with uh wilmington fabric today a beautiful collection called Seasons Study. And oh my gosh, you guys know how much I love my Wilmington fabric. If you don't yet, you will by the end of this video. I absolutely adore it. Look at these beautiful colors. It's gorgeous. So um, to get started, you're gonna wanna look at your pattern, get everything cut. I've already cut everything and I've prepped a few things. If you've come to our videos before, you know that we are building skill sets in here. So a lot of the things that we're doing in this video, we have already built those skill sets. So if you haven't seen them before, make sure that you check out our half square triangle video and our quarter square triangle video, which we're gonna be making quarter square triangles today. So to do that, you're gonna want to draw diagonally against both directions, an X on the back of your fabric, wrong side up, okay? And then you're gonna lay it right sides together with your other fabric. I'm using this one here, which in my ribbon you can see, it's this beautiful green leaf and the cream print. Now, a really important thing is that whenever you're making these quarter square triangles, you want to make sure that you're stitching to the left side of your drawn line. You're not going to stitch the entire triangle, just one left side. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that now, and then I will show you how to cut to get these cute little pieces. Okay, so I have stitched to the left of each of these lines and I've stopped right before I get to the drawn line. And you're gonna do that around all of those points on all 14 pieces. Now I'm going to cut on the drawn lines and press these towards my darker fabric. You're gonna have all of these cute little triangles whenever you're done cutting all of them out. And once you're done doing that, you're going to take the other fabric that you cut in the beginning your cute little fabric B triangles, and you're just going to lay those together. Now I'm going to stitch a quarter of an inch down this seam, and then after I'm done doing that, I will press it and show you how to trim it up. So we're gonna go ahead and just press this towards fabric B, which in my kit, it is this beautiful rust from Season Study Wilmington Prints. It's very, very beautiful color. And I'm just gonna press that towards fabric B and I'm gonna set my mat aside and bring over my rotating mat again. This is really, really great to have. If you are making half square triangles or quarter square triangles, instead of picking your fabric up each time, just get you one of these mats, they are wonderful. I do need my square ruler though. So I'm just going to trim these up to two and a half inches so once you're done trimming your quarter square triangles up, you're gonna have this adorable little two and a half inch square. After you squared all of those up, you're going to assemble your rows. So you're gonna do your side rows and then your top and bottoms for both of the placemats. So I have all of those ready to go here. Then you are going to attach your fabric to your square. So in this subscription box kit, you're going to get this beautiful Snow Crew fabric from Hen Henry Glass. And you're gonna get this adorable little panel and then these cute mittens. This is what we're doing next. So you're going to go ahead and take your fabric A square, which I have here, and I'm going to attach my strips to it. 
So I'm just gonna line that up, stitch those on, and then whenever it's done, it'll be ready for our borders our cute little ribbon borders. So I'm gonna stitch it so that it looks just like this one and then I'll be back. So after you have attached your borders to your main fabric square, your 10 and a half inch square, you're going to attach your beautiful ribbon candies. So I'm gonna attach my sides first, lining those up and then stitch, and then I'll press them and attach the top and bottom. I'm just pressing in between steps right now. I've got both of my side borders attached to my placemat top. And I'm gonna go ahead and press that last side border. And then it's time to attach the top and bottom. And then you'll get to see how beautiful the ribbon looks all the way around the entire placemat. So I'm just gonna line this up, making sure that my seams are lining up where they're meant to be, and then I'm gonna stitch. All right, so I have just attached my last border and now I'm just giving this a quick press. And now the only thing that's left to do is to quilt however which way I would like to quilt it and then bind it. My room table full of these if you get our subscription box. So don't forget to like and subscribe and come see us at our website. And thank you all for watching and we will see you again next time. Okay, you wicked cool quilters, good job. You made it to the end. We would like to thank our sponsors, Husqvarna Viking Sewing Machines, Creative Grids, Rulers, Rotary Cutters and Mats, and Wilmington Prints for the beautiful fabrics. Thanks for watching.